try to keep you close to me, but life got in between. Try to square, not be in there, but think that I should have been. So I, I can stop for a minute and see where you hide Hold back the river, hold back Once upon a different night We rode our bikes into the sky But now we crawl again those distant days are flashing by Hold back the river, let me look in your eyes Hold back the river so I Stop for a minute and be by your side Hold back the river, go back Hold back the river, let me More river work So what I'm going to do now I'm gonna cut this, and you can see I've left a space back here. That that was intentional. Uh, I'm gonna put some kind of cleat on the bottom of the board here, and then I'm gonna build up, you know, so that I can put some other dam, if you will, up against it here. And then I'm going to build up this area higher than the, the riverbed. It gives me a little, a little area there that I can work with some sculptor mold and or uh, uh, maybe pure hydrocal itself. I haven't decided yet. Probably sculptor mold. Uh, and then, you know, I'll be able to take the dam back out and all this will be sculptor molded in. Uh, Again, I'm still still looking at rocks. Uh, you know, my idea, of course, is to build up the ledges of these individual little cascades. And the idea is to build them up just high enough that I create a dam on each of these so that I can do an individual pour of the, uh, uh, <laughs> I just completely lost the word that I'm looking for. The river stuff. Uh, so I, I can do an individual pour of each of these locations, you know, like maybe two or three different small pours, and then eventually bring up you know, the level to the top of my, my rock dams here. And then I will use angel hair coming over the top. Uh, the problem is finding the rocks that I like uh, and not making it look stupid. Uh, Lex Parker, his channel, he does this in O scale and he makes it look really easy. If you haven't seen his channel and looked at any of his videos, he's, he's a master craftsman. That's where I'm getting this idea from, so I'm not going to claim this is my own idea, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt it. So that's the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, is get to work on that, finding the right rocks for the, the effect I'm looking for. Uh, and another thing I need to do is my uh, my foam on the back side here it overlaps my sub my sub board there just a little bit so I'm gonna run my hot my hot wire down through there and take off all of the excess foam so that everything's flush with the wood I don't know if you can see it but there's no more overlap of the foam on the back edge of the layout. Now here, 
I've just tacked on this one by four with a couple of finishing nails. And then there where the gap is, I'm gonna fill in with this stuff. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go sculpt a mold. And then I, I think I'm okay with these rocks. And what I'm gonna do different, uh, I didn't really mention it in, in my previous video, but I think I put these rocks in a little too soon, uh, which kind of complicated things a little bit. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna lay these to the side in the order that I want them, and I'm gonna work all of that in with the sculpta mold. And, you know, there's kind of a, of course there's a drying time, but there's kind of a time in between dry and wet that the sculpta mold is, is more easily worked. So I'm gonna wait until it's in that stage before I put these rocks in. And hopefully that'll turn out a little bit better. They'll, these ended up being too deep into the surface. I'm probably gonna have to go back in with a, with a dental pick or something and uh, carve out some of the excess plaster that's in there. But that's what I'm getting ready to do now. All right, I hope this works. Uh, what I've done is just shoved a bunch of sculpta mold off in that gap back there and then built it up. I left a little area right in there where hopefully after I take off the wood, I will be able to you know, run a tape like you see many other modelers doing and uh, build up the epoxy that's gonna be the river from there. I've added a couple, couple more molds up in that area. I didn't wanna overdo the molds. Uh, that spot right in there, I'm gonna hopefully make that look like some just some natural erosion. Uh, I just, you know, kept pushing that in with my finger until I had that kind of overlap there. I'm gonna try the same thing in this area over here where it just kind of looks like natural erosion. Uh, but it's right in the tacky area where it's pretty easy to work. I'm gonna go ahead and and add my rocks now. Got my cap rocks put in. Uh, you can see the difference between these that I pretty much just stuck right in and these. These have got plaster all over them. Uh, I don't know what the effects that's going to be when I actually go to paint things, but it's one of the reasons why I did it this way was to keep all the excess plaster off of it, putting them in, you know, once I had everything kind of complete. Uh, speaking of coloring, uh, I've ordered some acrylic paint that's called Provincial Beige. There's a gentleman that uh, that's on the rail wire, which is a model railroad forum that I subscribe to. Uh, he's got a fantastic model railroad called the, oh, I'm probably gonna have to put this in later in text. Uh, but, but his, his railroad is just fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And I think he's captured the color of the Colorado rocks that, that I'm looking for. And he says that the, the secret sauce to his, his rock coloring is, is a color called provincial beige. So I've ordered some of that. Uh, it's not easy to find. I think 
He's from Australia, believe it or not. Uh, his name's Peter Sutton, and I will try and provide a link. There are a few videos that someone else took of his layout on YouTube. If I can, if I can find that link, I'll share it because uh, his railroad is fantastic. But his name's Peter Sutton, and and I'm waiting for that particular color to come in, and then I'm going to do some testing. And hopefully, maybe by the end of next week, I'll have the, the coloring completed in this section of the railroad. I wanna, I wanna do all of this before I move on to the town hill. Well, I'm pretty much done for the week, uh, unless I get some more things in the mail. I might be able to do a little more between now and and this coming weekend. It's Monday and I'm going to have to go into work here pretty quick. Start my work week. I, I start my work week at 6 p.m. on Monday and finishing up Friday morning at 6 a.m. Uh, so I'm going to I'm just going to talk out loud here cuz let's let's be honest, that's probably what I do best is is think out loud. But there's going to be a road that comes here and goes up here to this building up here, which uh, is, I believe, Chillery's Cafe. And I may change that to Cousin Vinny's Cafe. I haven't decided yet, but I think that would be awesome if I could do something like that. Uh, and then I think what I'm going to do is from here over try and, and complete, you know, pretty much, you know, to 90% to include ballasting the track, painting and stuff. Uh, the primary reason I want to do that is, is for photographic reasons. Uh, and you know, I've got Lale and Sons here. It's probably 80% complete. Uh, I want to, I want to finish it and then just kind of make this whole scene a a completion now this building which is the bar mills models uh, whistle stop junction i've pretty much decided that it cannot work uh, once i get an ho gauge on here and i get this building pushed back where it belongs so that an ho steamer can come by the back side uh, is going to absolutely destroy, get destroyed by any HO narrow gauge engine that comes in. So I, I've done a lot of online looking and I haven't found anything that looks to me like the dimensions are gonna work. So I think I'm gonna try and scratch build something uh, just, just to see if I can out of two by fours. If, uh, if you follow Stephen Bennett, and I, I can't remember which episode it was that, that he does it on, but there, there's, a, there's a gentleman that builds really nice buildings just completely out of two by fours. And then, you know, the scrap material that, not scrap, but scratch building material applied to it. So I think I'm going to try that just to see if I can come up with a, a building that, that will work for my station and just to try something new. I might be able to do that this week in my, in my downtime since I don't have uh, everything that I need to continue working back here. But that's my goal, I think, is to everything from the river this way get completed so I've got some nice photographic things to do right in here. And then I'll work progressively from left to right. That's the plan. It's Friday evening. And I still don't have any two befores to finish my ceiling, so I, I didn't do any of that today. So I thought I would go ahead and spend some time this evening doing a little scenicing. 
I thought before I got started, I'd just kind of do a little rundown of, of what I've got to work with here. Uh, what I do is I've taken this lid from this coffee can and cut it out, and then I've got a couple of different wire meshes that you can either use one or you can use two, and you can kind of screen different sizes. Uh, here is my largest screenings. And then I've got some smaller stuff here. Uh, I've also got some stuff from New England Brownstone. This is, this is super dirt. And then I've got some of this talus here, which I haven't even opened the bag yet. I'm not sure if that's rock or if it's clay or exactly what it's made out of yet, but I think this is gonna work good for a lot of my river stone. Uh, and again, this, this is something that can be sifted as well. And I've got some fine talus. Uh, and then I've also got, this is the same thing, New England brownstone, and it is HO ballast. So I'm gonna see how that works with the river. Uh, but that's kind of what I'm going to work with is kind of getting the river bed taken care of. I, I ordered some, some acrylic paint that still hasn't come in yet, so I'm probably not going to do any painting just yet. I've got my fingers crossed it will, it will show up in the mail tomorrow. Another little project that I worked on this week was this tree. Uh, and there's, there's several videos out there how to do this. Uh, I think I, I kind of used Luke Towen's technique here. I used 20, 22 gauged wire, I think is what I used on that. It was really too big. Uh, I definitely need something smaller, either 24 or 22. It's a little hard to work with, uh, but I think it will still work. I'm not sure, you know, this was my very first attempt at trying to do that. So we're just gonna have to see how that project goes. And I also, like I mentioned, talked about uh, making this station out of a two by four. And that's what I've done. I've, I glued two two by fours together. There's gonna be a whole separate video on this build here, but that's where I'm at on it right now. Uh, and pretty much all I did was take the dimensions of this building minus the office protrusion. I guess that's what that is, an office protrusion. You get rid of that and all of my clearance problems disappear. So that's gonna be my scratch build. Whether or not I actually use it or not, I don't know. That remains to be seen, but it's a, it's a neat little project. But I'm going to get started on, on finishing, putting the rocks in the river, getting ready to break my 1x4 off the back there and see if that is actually going to work or not. And I'll show you more when I've done more. Took the two before off. It, it wasn't a complete disaster. About, I don't know, maybe 75% of it worked out okay. Uh, so I'm going to have to come back in here and rework this up, which I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal. Just a, just a, a minor setback. And I just won't put a two before on it this time and just kind of shape it all on my own and leave it and then maybe come back and, and sand it later. So I guess I'm going to do that instead of working on the riverbed. I've got this built back up. I added a couple extra rocks there for hopefully that'll work the way I want it to. Uh, what I did different this time is after I, I went ahead and I put my two before back up there. I tried it without the two before and it just wasn't going to work. Uh, I put it back up, I built it up and then after it kind of got to where it was in that tacky state, uh, I removed it so it would remain its shape. That's that's probably what I should have done to begin with. 
And here's what I'm doing on this end, because I'm afraid I'm lining up with the same thing. I'm just gonna run this hacksaw blade and make sure that I've, that I've cut everything off flush with the end cap there. And hopefully that'll prevent any disasters. The riverbed is complete. Now you can see, particularly from this side, I've, you can still see some of the, the plaster associated with those larger rocks. I'm thinking that when I go to, to paint everything, hopefully I can make that disappear. What I'm thinking right now is I will eventually come up with a, with a color that I can wash everything with that uh, kind of give it all the same kind of color, uh, but the individual colors of the different rocks will, will still kind of pop through, but they'll all kind of have the same overall flavor, if you will, of the same color. Uh, so, this is what I used. I started with this fine talus and I just kind of put it here, there, everywhere. And I used these larger chunks, just, you know, I used them sparingly. And then this is the New England brownstone. I don't know what you call it, coarse talus maybe. Again, I have, I have no idea what, what it was called because yeah, there's nothing on the bag and I ordered it, you know, months ago, but it was, uh, it's good stuff. I, I really liked it. And then sifted very fine sand is, you know, thrown in on top of everything to kind of give the, the whole river a bed of sand. And I will probably end up using more of it along the river bank. Uh, we'll just kind of have to see how the rest of it goes. But that's the river as it stands right now. I still don't have any, any of my acrylic color that I ordered. I'm waiting on it. Hopefully it will arrive today, today's Saturday. And maybe I'll get to do a little more that you'll see next week. Back the river, let me look in your eyes. So back the river, so I.